Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge from November 3rd, 2023. The character of the defect and the modifier side Chimera. Your starting deck is a fusion of all characters. Flight, you may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to. And night turns resting at rest sites heals 100% for HP, but costs 5 max HP. I see Vorpal here with 15, uh, 39. That's not bad. Uh, also, this is not a silent run. Um, so Malzahn had requested a silent run a while ago. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's the what's what's causing the delay, but hopefully we got a silent run. I'm sort of starting to miss her as well. All right, two lead path only on the right. Actually, never mind. With flight, I can hit three of the four leads. So yeah, as always, I'll maximize question mark moments, which looks like I'll be able to get six this act. And then once I have enough curses, I can uh, and have Mister Machine, I can stop doing the question mark rooms. All right, eleven incoming. Let's do defend or survivor, defend, and you know what? Let's do zap. That might be slightly better than the strike. And then you know what? Let's risk it. Let's do eruption strike, and then I just need one more good attack next turn. Actually, no, I need two. Yeah, this works. All right. Got a flex potion, rebound, cold snap, or force field. Cold snap, I might want to make this a orb deck again, especially if I get a fro uh, frost orb offer that early. Here I got a defendant survivor upgraded. That's fine. And here I got my first cursed doubt. Also, let me check who my final boss is here. Guardian. Okay, so I do need some block capabilities. All right. Unannounced shop. Ooh, pair might give me max HP. Toxic Egg would be great. They're both expensive, though. I'm not seeing anything amazing in the cards, though. I could try to go for collector bonuses with Cold Snap. I think I'll risk taking one of these two. I'm not sure which one, though. But I think because pair might give me more max HP, let's take it. I'm pick up race for max HP by 10. Actually, I can't afford a stack as well. Let's take that as well. Yeah, it would be better if I had more energy or more gold for that shop. Move Transformer upgrade. Mm, I don't think I'll, tr I'll uh, upgrade the Eruption. Actually, I think I'll transform it. Although it might give me a, another a purple card. Still, still, yeah, let's transform the uh, eruption. I think that's the best thing to do there. We got echo form. Does that mean I shouldn't go for popper? It is definitely tempting not to do that. Uh, here I have to wait because I don't want to don't want to wake it up before I have the echo form. Uh, speaking of, great. And then I can't do the zap. Let's wait one more turn. Mm -hmm. And then here, unfortunately, I'm getting the survivor reshuffled. Uh, let's do double bash. And then, uh, you know what? I think I'll get rid of that out. That way I won't be weakened next turn. Okay, I still have the stack, right? Um, all right, so this would be not that much block. I can double play the defend, though. Uh, this would be six. No, I don't think that's enough. What if I double play the cold snap? Still not enough, right? I don't think there's anything I can do here. Um, yeah, double, double playing the stack is the same as double playing a defend, which is almost the same as double playing the cold snap. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do, in which case, wait, so 10, no, wait, I have enough of a double play the defend, then play another defend, and then play the stack. Okay, yeah, that doesn't help me for next turn, but it might help me something. Yeah, so I have two survivors here, I have to play both of them, right? Get rid of this and this, and then I can do two strikes, okay. Alright, so far so good, I still have to deal a lot of damage though. Double up on the bash, I think, yep. And unfortunately, next turn I'll be weakened, but I also have a frost orb. I'm not sure if that makes up for it. All right, so again, no block. Level play the defend. Okay, 14, 16. So one defend is enough, but I can't play the bash, right? Yeah, fine. I guess I'll wait. Okay. So I'll have a flex potion, dude, I might consider taking. All right, I think I might have to use the flex potion here, right? So this is fifth, or only 10 damage. Let's drink the flex potion, double play the cold snap. And then, yeah, this is enough. Phew. All right, perfect. This one got blue candle, unplayable curse card. Kind of what we played. Whenever we play a curse, lose one HP and exhausted, which is great. Another cold snap. Yeah, there's no reason not to go for collector bonuses. Let's take another cold snap. Okay. And then Grumman Knob, no more potions, but starting off with Echo Form, that might be useful. Although I don't think how I'm going to defend 14 incoming. Yeah, nothing I can do, right? I can double play the Survivor, but I don't think I'll do that. Instead, let's play the Bash twice, and I'll do one Survivor. Yeah, I don't think I really stood a chance of perfecting the. Uh, the uh, Gremlin knob here at all. Double play the cold snap. That gives me some block. Let's get rid of the doubt. And then I'll do two two more strikes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can kill with the bash. All right. Didn't perfect this one, but I got Tori. Whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one. Uh, heat sinks, type of discharge hologram. Heat sinks. I don't have any powers other than the echo form, so I don't think it's worth it just now. Let's take the hologram. Should help me more in act one. And I don't think I need the shop yet because I don't have any gold. 
Uh, let's get rid of this and then I can do cold snap, regular strike and one more strike to the backliner. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, let's do echo form. I mean, I have it. Might as well use it. All right. Eight incoming here. If I double bash, that is enough to kill. Good. Got a block potion, cool headed recursion FTL. Let's take another cool, uh, frost orb. So cool headed. Tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. I will have a lot of question mark rooms. I'll have a lot of treasure, but I might lose the um, curses modifier this way. So I don't think I'll take it. I do want to get curses. And then I also don't think I need a rest site. So let's just do a regular fight instead. Again, starting off with echo form is great. Mm -hmm. Six incoming. Double play the cold snap. Um, and then let's get rid of this. Do a strike. And I, I, I think I'm okay losing uh, two HP. That way I can deal more damage and actually only one HP, right? Double up on the bash, and then that's enough to kill. Good. All right, Storm, Cool-Headed, Steam Barrier. Ah, should this be a power deck? No, I think I'll take another Cool-Headed, because I already have one. I wish I had more energy, though. Okay, Sentries. Mm, this might be tough. So let's do Cold Snap. Um, all right. Then uh, I don't think I'll... Well, let's do Cool-Headed for another Frost Drop. All right, and then I can fill a Defend with a Defend. Uh, barely dealt any damage that way, though. I still have a block push. I'm not sure if I need to use it here because I don't think I have a high chance of perfecting. So Survivor Hologram is... Actually, hang on. If I do 6 plus 11 is 17, I need 18. So I think I have to do Survivor, then Cold Snap, and then Hologram. Nothing useful, right? Let's Hologram a Dace. That way I'll lose it. Okay. I have 6 block with the orbs. I do need a little bit more. Okay, there's cool headed. That's good. Oh, but I can't do echo form if I do cool headed. Should I do echo form and then you know what? Let's risk it. Let's drink the block potion and then do echo form. I really hope I don't need that block potion for the boss fight, but this might allow me to do at least decent. Yeah, so I got two defense. Wait, two strikes is not enough, right? 10, 16. Yeah, I have to do two defense, one more defend, and then another strike. Okay. Hmm. Still will have a bunch of days to my drop all right? Uh, at least I got a stack here. Uh, one is enough, so let's double play the strike to kill one of them, then play the stack, okay. Alright, so I just have to draw one defensive card each turn. I still have lots of damage to deal. Okay, this works. Uh, let's double up on... Actually, one cool-headed is enough, right? Let's double up on the strike, and then do one cool-headed, and uh, I guess I can do cold snap as well. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then... Okay, yeah, cold snap works. I think I'll double play the bash. And then do cold snap for a kill. Actually, I don't need to kill this one. Let's instead, uh, instead attack the backliner. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. There is a defend there. That's good. Um, I think I'll... I'm not sure what to double play. I could double play the bash. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And then do defend. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one should be easily killed with an attack. All right. Yep. I can actually. I can target the backliner too because I have the survivor. Yeah. Let's double play the strike. Yeah. That kills the backliner. Okay. That is that is much safer because this way I'm fully defended and I have an extra turn. All right. So that block potion was worth it and that um, echo form allowed me to perfect this one. Beautiful. Yeah. Thread needle surge come with four plate armor. That's great. Cold snap barrage seek. Oof. I'm not convinced if I'm gonna go for popper or not. So let's not take the seek yet. I think I'll take a third cold snap. Could have been my fourth if I took one in the shop. And then again, still I don't think I'm ready for a shop. So let's just do a regular fight. All right. Um, I uh, how do I kill here? Uh, wow, looks like I'll take a bunch of damage, which I guess is fine. Uh, let's do cold snap. Then actually I can do defend and survivor. Okay. That way I don't take any damage. Right. Yep. Good. Mm hmm. All right, and then here, I don't think I'll do echo form here. Uh, let's kill you with a cold snap, then do cool headed, and then kill you as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be weakened, so I have to deal with the acid slime. Yeah, I guess I don't have any good AOE damage, right? That might be that might be a problem. Uh, here, let's do cool headed, um, and then I can do two strikes to kill the backliner. Get rid of the doubt. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, yeah, I'm actually fully defended, so I don't have to worry too much about this. But yeah, let's get rid of this one. Mm -hmm. And then any strike will kill next turn. Okay, this was a surprisingly difficult fight, but I got through it. Got Liquid Bronze, which I probably don't need. Leap, Streamline, or Blizzard. I do have some Frost Drops. I don't think they're enough for, for Blizzard to be worth it, but Streamline might be the da damage card that I need. Let's take that. And then here I will risk it, and if it's a bad event, I will reload, as I usually do. Mm-hmm.
All right, let's just take the gold instead and lose some HP, which is fine. And then here in the question mark room, I got the Fungi Beast. And let's double up on the Cold Snap. And then with Plated Armor, I'm fully defended, so I don't need to gain any more block. Mm -hmm. All right, Backliner is attacking me. Let's do the Streamline to kill and then a Strike. And the next round will be Vulnerable, although I only need 10 damage. Uh, 14, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is enough. Good. Okay, Stack, Loop, and Claw. Loop is interesting, but not that much. I think Stack is better, and I already have a copy of it. Let me just make sure I have I have the good count of the question mark rooms. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so I have 6 on Act 1, which is nice. And then first upgrade should be the Echo Form, because it is very useful, and I don't always can play it. No, I think I'll upgrade the Streamline instead. And I really hope I get Echo Form on turn 1. It's going to be hard because the Guardian is basically attacking me every turn. I didn't get Echo from turn 1. Alright, let's do Streamline Cold Snap. At least this will make a transformation much easier. Okay. Mm, if I get Echo from now, I'll be in trouble. Luckily, I didn't. Uh, so let's do Bash. And then Cold Snap. Okay. Alright, so with Plated Armor, I have 8 block. That's not enough. I need 9, right? Okay. I still didn't get Echo from, which is good. Might as well drink this, right? Um... I think I'll, well, let's get rid of the Doubt, then I, I'll do, a def actually, stack is more block, alright, and then I can do a strike, and I might as well do another defense, okay, oh boy, yeah, I think I'm guaranteed the Echo Form here, and unfortunately, if I play it, I won't be able to defend, so I can't play it, which is a shame, unless I got a Survivor, that would be amazing, no, I didn't, alright, fine, so I have 10 right now, I need 6, ooh, wait, I cannot fully defend. Unless, wait, I think the best thing to do is Cold Snap. How much is this? So 8, 12. And then Zap is only 3 more. That's 15, right? Uh, 11, 14. Yeah, that's 15. That's a bummer. I was close. I just didn't draw enough defensive cards. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunate. All right. If that's the case, let's do Cold Snap, Cool Headed, and um, Stack is 7. Okay. At least the Thorns help a little. Yeah, that's a bummer. Just got a little unlucky with the draws. Um, definitely can happen. Okay. And unfortunately, I lost the Echo Form, which means I can't even... If I got that Echo Form earlier on, that might have made a huge change, actually. Would have allowed me to possibly double play a lot of good defensive cards. Yeah, so I just got unlucky. All right, if that's the case, then I don't have the need to perfect. So let's just do Cold Snap Streamline. And then I guess I can do Cool Headed. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here, let's do Survivor, Cold Snap, and Stack. Yeah, I drew two stacks the turn before I took damage, right? So if I had drawn that in the right turn, it would have possibly made a big difference. Let's do Defend and Strike here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Thorns are definitely helping me, although I don't think they were super necessary. Let's do Bash, uh, Cold Snap, and a Streamline. Yeah, that's enough to kill. Yeah, bummer. Did well so far, but Amplify, Bias, Ignition, Rainbow. I'm not a huge fan of any of those. I think I can skip. Let's try to, po to go for Popper. Mm-hmm. And then here, probably Tiny House is the safest choice. Yeah, I've been picking up between one potion, gain 50 gold, raise your maximum by five, obtain one card and upgrade one item card. That gives me 25 points. That together with the pair is good. We got Cool Headed upgraded as well as a Swift Potion. And I think I'll take the boot sequence, even though I already have a hologram, just because I wouldn't mind having some initial block on turn one. Okay. All right, one, two, three. I can hit only three of the five elites, which is disappointing. In terms of question mark rooms, I can do one, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, so I should be on track to getting Curses, although so far I only have one. All right, let's start with Boot Sequence, Double Cold Snap, and Stack. Let's get rid of the uh, Doubt as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and another 20. Um, Stack is getting better, but it's not amazing yet. Let's do Cool Headed. Oof, um, okay, Defend. Uh, so 14, 18. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's just do a Strike here, because I'm starting to worry that I might not be able to kill these guys in time. Mm -hmm. All right, both are attacking. That's good. Uh, I can kill this one with a streamline and target the backline with a cold snap, but then I still have to deal a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Um, no good attacks. Um, should I? Actually, let's hologram the streamline. Mm -hmm. Play that. And then do a strike. Okay, can I deal 15 plus 11, so 26 damage? Might be a challenge. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think I'm losing the gold. It's actually a good amount of gold, too. 45 gold, right? That's a shame. All right, fine. Nothing I could have done about that. All right. Uh, actually, 
No, it was 45, not 30. Right. We got a strength potion, streamline hologram loot. Let's take a second streamline. I think this deck is lacking damage. All right, got a shop here. Would be better if I had more orbs. Or not orbs, more gold. I definitely want to take the aggregate. I also would like to take the runic capacitor. So I just come with three additional orb slots. And then, yeah, let's focus on cards. So let's take the aggregate. I don't think I need capacitor now that I have the runic capacitor. Blizzard. Second time is showing up. I still don't think I need it. Yeah, let's save the gold for another shop. Do I want force field? I only have one power at the moment, so I don't think I need force field either. And then this might give me overkill. Let's take the ritual dagger. I do want to try to use it as much as possible. And then here I could uh, get curse number two. Mm, I got a heal instead, which I guess is fine. Can't complain about a free heal. Just not exactly what I was hoping for. All right. And then here I got the Sphere Guardian. Too bad I don't have a Melter. Let's do Streamline, get rid of the Doubt, and Strike. Come. Mm -hmm. 10 incoming. Uh, another Streamline is pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. And then Defend. Okay. And then here I'm Frail. Uh, unfortunately, there's not that much I can do about that. Let's do... Uh, yeah, def wait, hang on. If I do Survivor, Defend... Yeah, that's actually enough to make me only lose 1 HP, right? Yeah, thanks to the um, Tori. Okay. Another 10. There's a runic... Uh, sorry, the Ritual Dagger. But I don't think I have enough to kill with it, right? Haggard is very useless as well. Um, so I need 27. I don't have enough. So I think I'll take the 10 damage. Set play the Echo Form. And actually, I guess I can't use the uh, Ritual Dagger twice. But I still think that was a better idea. Here I can double play the Defend. Okay. Then do Cold Snap 1, Cold Snap 2. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And then, uh, yeah, let's double play the cool headed, hoping to get a ritual dagger. I did not. Um, so, yeah, let's just do this. Fully defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, there's the ritual dagger. Played twice, it'll be 30 damage. That's enough to kill. Good. All right. Charge battery, Sunder, or go for the ice. Sunder is not bad. I just wish I had more energy. I think go for the ice better because I don't have enough energy, right? I got the Grumman leader here. If I get lucky, that should be doable. I think I'll drink the strength potion here, too, though. All right, let's do Streamline to kill you. Then Cold Snap. Unfortunately, that's not enough, so I have to do Boot Sequence. Okay. Really hope I don't get attacked by the backliner next turn. Yep, okay, good. I got lucky. Um, let's do... Cold Snap is not enough, right? I think I have to do Bash, then Cold Snap this one, and then get rid of the Curse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Backline is still not attacking. There's a Ritual Dagger that I might have trouble using. Ooh, Streamline is not actually enough, huh? Let's kill you with the Ritual Dagger, then do Streamline. And then... Nope, I was hoping that the Lightning Orb would hit the Mad Gremlin. It didn't. Backliner is still not attacking. Very nice. Cold Stop is enough to kill you. And then I can just do a Strike. Okay. Let's have a good amount of Frost Orbs. Now, unfortunately, the Gremlin Leader already has 6 uh, Strength. I, again, cannot use the Aggregate. Can I draw something with Hologram? Yeah, I think what I can do is Hologram the Cool Headed. Play that, then do the aggregate for extra energy. Can only do the echo form. Oh no, if I play the echo form, I am guaranteed to be attacked next turn with nine strength from the grand leader. So let's not risk it. Instead, I'll do, um, let's do streamline. So I'll have to lose the um, echo form, but fine. Uh, there's still a chance I might get attacked. Uh, no, no, still get lucky. All right, let's do bash and cold snap. I still have so much damage I have to deal, right? Not having extra energy is annoying. Okay, still good. 33, that's a good amount of damage. But not enough. Oh boy, um, what do I have next hand? Uh, not enough block for sure. Alright, let's kill you. And then do cold snap you. Okay. Oh, I had extra energy. I should have played that extra strike. Okay, still not being attacked. I'm getting really lucky with the attack pattern here. Let's do zap, then cold snap, then a strike. Okay. 12 strength. Yep, now I'm getting attacked. And now there's not much I can do. All right, let's do aggregate, and I got the uh, cold snaps in the wrong turn. Let me see if the swift potion might allow me to at least do something. All right, all right. Um, let's do cool headed. Go for the ice is huge. Okay, thirty nine. I still don't think that's feasible. The stacks are very useless. Let's do survivor. Okay, cold snap and strike is enough to kill this one. Um. No, wait, hang on. So, I actually have 26, 30. I need 39 plus 8, so 47. So, if I do if I do defend, so that's uh, 38. What did I say? I need 39 plus 8, which is 47. 
So I need another nine. Um, actually, I think if I do cold snap and then stack, that should be enough, right? Let me make sure I got the calculation. Yeah, wow. All right. I'm impressed at my ability to defend against this much damage. Okay. All right. So now I have to kill the minions. So let's do strike you, double cold snap you. Okay. Hmm. Still not, not that close to being able to kill the backliner. And okay, luckily I'm still not being attacked. Very lucky there. All right, let's kill you with a streamline. Then I can do bash and another streamline. And cool headed. Okay. I am very impressed if I can perfect this one. Because that was not easy. Yeah, wow. All right. The runic capacitor really helped me. Having all those thrust drops is a huge help. Okay, just barely scraped by this one. We got ornamental fan. Every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Very useful. Another echo form. Now, let's take the white noise. I, I think I'll remove the echo form to go for popper. I don't think I need to upgrade anything. Let's go for a regular fight. No chance of getting overkill or combo here. I completely forgot to... No, oh, I didn't forget. I didn't really had a chance to use ritual dagger last time. I will try to use it this time, especially in this fight, because I can not try to stall the mystic and try to deal enough damage with the ritual dagger for that. All right, here, taking some incoming. Let's do streamline, though, and um, defend is not going to be enough, right? I think I'll do cold snap then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, not being attacked, that's good. Uh, let's do streamline, go for the ice, get rid of this, and then a strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 12 incoming, still didn't get the um, echo form yet, right? Uh, let's do bash and cold snap. Okay. Oh, I forgot I don't have enough plate armor. Luckily, I'm still only taking one damage. And then another 20. Uh, if I play the echo form, I'll take a bunch of damage. Let's do white noise instead. Uh, bias cognition is a little too aggressive, but fine. I don't think it'll hurt. Then let's do cool headed, and then I can do. Um, I'm already full of defender, right? Yep, fine. Come. Okay. Yeah, the good thing with bias cognition is I can try to kill the centurion, and then I don't have to deal with accidentally killing the uh, mystic with the lightning orb. Okay. Actually, if I get a ritual dagger now, uh, all right, yeah, let's just kill you that way. All right, and now I can target the backliner, so go for the ice cold snap and wait. Mm -hmm. Another eight, I'm fully defended here. Let's do streamline strike and zap. Okay, yeah, the streamlines are my only good damage engine at the moment, which is not a great thing to say. Uh, let's do cold snap and a strike for a kill. Good, all right, uh, fusion chaos or claw. Chaos might be interesting. Fusion is a little too expensive, although having a lightning orb would be... Or a, a plasma orb would be great. We go stabbing with 12 incoming. I have to play the boot sequence, or actually, I can just do survivor. Keep the boot sequence for later. Might as well do ritual dagger, because it's going to be very hard to use in this fight. Mm -hmm. 18. Hologram. I could hologram the survivor or boot sequence. Uh, Actually, 7... No, boot sequence alone is not enough, right? I was hoping to also play the streamline. I guess I can't, so let's hologram the survivor. Okay. And then do chaos. Okay, dark orb. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 21. Uh, go for the S is great. Do I want to... Now, I have to... If I want to try to fully defend, I have to play cool-headed and hope it gives me something amazing. It didn't, but this is not too bad. White nose gives me heat sinks, and then... Uh, there's no way I can fully defend, right? So, actually... Uh, if I do cold snap and strike, no, that's the most I can defend, and that's not enough. I will only take one damage, but unfortunately, yeah, losing the perfect there. Uh, let's do bash, cold snap, and doubt. Okay. At least thanks to the um, Tori, I only take two damage there, but I'm losing my plated armor, which is unfortunate. Uh, all right, this is actually great timing with the stack. Yeah, let's do stack, cold snap, and then cool headed for reshuffle. Mm hmm. All right. We defended here another 21. Uh, stack now is very useless. Uh, let's do streamline. Should I do chaos? Yeah, we'll get rid of a dark orb. Deals a lot of damage and gives me another dark orb back. Okay. And then 27 boot sequence, cold snap, cool headed. Not 27, sorry, 36. Not sure why I said 27. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed at how well I am able to defend, even though I barely have any good cards. Um, survivor. 4 times 7 already. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then just need 5 more damage. Okay. That was a rough fight. We got Mob Bank. Whenever you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No more works when you spend any gold at a shop, a fire potion. And I think it's not it's not time for a storm. Should I take creative AI? I'm having trouble perfecting anything. So maybe creative AI is the, the hope that I need. But unfortunately, I don't have enough energy. So let's just take the defragment. 
Yeah, I got Preserved Insect. That might help. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP. And then I don't think I'm ready for a shop yet. Let's do a question mark room. I will lose a lot of max HP, but I would get one collector bonus. I don't think I need the bites that badly. Let's not take it because I do like the fact that I already have 25 points from having enough max HP. So I would lose it to get 25 points back. I, I don't know. I think this is the right choice. Hopefully. Let's do boot sequence, streamline, cold snap. Mm. I will not just take one damage, right? I'll think I'll take six. Yeah. Oh, no. I, it was just one. Right, right. And then let's do streamline, doubt, and um, a strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 21. Uh, let's definitely do go for the ice to bring it down to 15. Um, stack is not enough. Let's do the fragment. Cold snap. And stack is 7 plus 9, which is 16. Yeah, let's do that. Survivor would have worked as well, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then white noise gives me stack. The treasure is not very useful. Aggregate is not very useful either. All right. Mm -hmm. Another 21. Uh, ritual Dagger. Wait, can I do Bash and then Ritual Dagger for 23? Beautiful. All right. Okay, Melter, Hologram, Ball Lightning. As much as I like another Hologram, I think Melter might be useful. Ball Lightning is nice too. Let's take Ball Lightning to get some Lightning Orbs into my deck. Mm -hmm. And then Slavers. All right, 32 incoming. Not much I can do in turn one, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do in turn one. Let's do Boot Sequence, Streamline. Mm -hmm. Actually... If I use a fire potion, 14, 19, no, that's still, wait, if I use a fire potion, hang on, 16, no, I need 19, right, there's nothing I can do, yeah, so let's save the fire potion for later, all right, yeah, so even if I killed the backliner, I still had a lot of incoming, mm -hmm. all right, so here, white noise gives me loop, which is fine, anything I need to hologram, yeah, I can hologram a streamline, all right, let's play that, make it zero cost, that way I also won't be hex next turn, I'm losing some HP here, though. I have to be careful, because I can't really heal without losing max HP. If I do Bash and Cold Snap, that's not enough. Actually, Stack is a good amount. Uh, here, let's do Cool-Headed Survivor, and then I'll do Stack. Okay. Hmm. Didn't play the Fragment, right? So I don't have any extra focus. All right, Ritual Dagger is 24. That is so close. Um, let's just do Cold Snap and then Ritual Dagger. Okay. And I can do a regular strike. This way I should be... Actually, I need one more Frost Drop to be able to... No, no, I'm fully defended every turn, right? So yeah, I don't need to rush this. Do I want to do Echo Form? Nah, I guess I can. There's no reason not to. Mm -hmm. And I just need to draw another Streamline. Or even a basic strike, does it? Okay, and a Zap. Good. Okay, yeah, at least I got a Ritual Dagger played there. We got Ancient T-Set. One of the Enter Rest Sites are next one with two extra energy, a Blessing of the Forge, and another Streamline for a potential Collector bonus. So let's take it. Oh, no. Okay, now I regret not taking the bites, because I do think I need the apparitions. I don't think without them I can survive, so let's take it. All right, so should have taken the bites, too. I got none on shop. Do I want orange pellets? I do have some powers, but I don't have a lot of debuffs. But, I mean, it would be nice to have orange pellets. It's not that expensive, either. Meat on the bone would allow me to not have to heal. Calipers might be useful, too. Oh, this is a tough choice. I think I'll go with the Calipers at the start of return. Lose 15 block rather than all few block, because this might make a huge difference. Unfortunately, I can't afford the Glacier with that. Let's take the Defragment, and that's it. Okay. We'll need to remove that Echo Form for um, before the final boss fight. And then let's upgrade at least one of the Apparitions. That way I can save it for later. Okay. All right, Collector. Okay, starting with Apparition, but I think more importantly, starting with the Echo Form. That's huge. Then do Strike and wait. Okay. So having the Echo Form would also help by with the Apparitions. Uh, should I double play the Aggregate? No, let's double play the Apparition. Then I can do Aggregate. And then try to... No, let's save the other Apparition. Let's do Cool Headed. White Noise gives me another Echo Form. Very nice. All right. Then do Bash and wait. I think I'll save this Apparition. This is one Apparition for later. Okay. All right, uh, I think double playing the fragment is great. Then do cold snap twice, okay? And then let's do a regular strike. That actually won't kill this one. Yeah, good enough. Mm -hmm. If I get a lot of frost drops, that will be great with the extra focus I have to. Okay, 20 incoming. I have 12 plus 7. That's not quite enough, but I think I'll double play the apparition again. And then see what the... Yeah, let's double play the chaos. Okay, well, at least I got a plasma orb. That's not bad. Get rid of uh, the lightning orb, All right? I should have played the streamline. Would have made it zero cost immediately, right? Okay. Getting a lot of debuffs, but I'm still intangible. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's double play the streamline here. 
All right, and then I think I'll double play the streamline here as well. That way I'll have them both be zero cost in the future. Mm -hmm. 36. Uh, would like an apparition here. Didn't get it. Um, uh oh. Let's double play the defragment. Then do cold snap twice. Wait, is that enough? So right now I have 18 plus 12, which is 30. I need 36. Yeah, I think double playing the cold snap should be enough. That should give me enough, exactly 36. Is that right? Oh, wait, that's way more than 36. Never mind. All right, and then I can... I don't think I'll do zap here. I might keep the ritual dagger. Yeah, why not? I might be able to use it. I think I feel much better with having so many frost orbs. All right, um, let's double play the apparition. And then double play the cool-headed. Okay. All right, get rid of the doubt. And then I can do streamline. I would like to get another plasma, but I don't think I need to. Let's do cold snap. And then just a regular, two regular strikes. Yeah, I don't think I'll play the zap because I do want to make sure that I have enough frost orbs. Mm -hmm. right, so here I'm still intangible, which is great. Double play the streamline. Then do aggregate. Oh, I probably didn't need to play it twice. That's fine. Let's get another streamline, cool headed. And then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm getting 36 plus 4, 40 block every turn. I think I should be fine. Double play the streamline, cold snap for good measure. And then one more cold snap. I don't think I'll do the chaos either. Oh, right, and then with Calipers, I hang on to the block that I don't use. Beautiful. Double play this, and then I think if I double play the uh, Ball Lightning, I am very close to being able to perfect anyway. Yeah, this is enough. Beautiful. All right, thanks to those two Echo Forms, I perfect this one. Seek Electronamics Amplify. Electronamics is tempting, but yeah, let's try to go for Popper. And then Black Star is interesting. Rosencore is also really interesting. It replaces Crack Core if you end your turn without or with any empty orb slot channel one frost. That will make sure I have enough frost drops very quickly. Black Star, how far am I away from getting the Alex Shiny Modifier? I have 12 relics right now. Let's say I have four elites. I think Black Star is better. Because with Frozen Core, I might perfect things, but with Black Star, I might get the Alex Shiny Modifier, which is 50 points. At least drop additional relic when defeated. Let's take it. All right, awaken one at the end. I do need a shop towards the end as well. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I got eight relics instead of four. That should increase the chance of me getting, getting I like shiny. And then there is a shop here that I have to substitute instead of a question mark room. Let's get closer to that. I also forgot to count question mark rooms in the last act. I think it was like seven. So yeah, I'm guaranteed to get the uh, Mystery Machine modifier. I'm pretty sure. All right, White Nose gives me Storm, which is fine. Let's do um, Cool Headed first. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to choose between the apparitions. Let's just go for the ice. I don't need to play the apparitions. All right, and then here I have the aggregate cool headed. All right, ritual dagger is 27. That's enough to kill the backliner. I can do echo form, kill the backliner, and then get rid of the doubt, and then do stack. And uh, yeah, let's do a cold snap. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, defragment is great. Let's do that twice, and then do stack. And I think I can do one more cold snap, or should I do another? Let's do ball lightning. Yeah, because that way I have more frost, or more lightning orbs, which should allow me to get rid of the spikers without taking too much damage. Um, yeah, the double play the apparitions, and then I can do hologram, something like uh, aggregate, sure. And then I can do a streamline to kill you, and then a strike. And I'm dealing 20 damage with the orb, so just need any attack next turn to kill. Um, or just this. Okay. All right, we got a fear potion or program. Chill melter. Chill is really good. Let's take it. Second melter I was offered, but I didn't take the first one. Curse number two. Okay. Unfortunately, it's a rife, so my opening hand is worse. Curse number three. Pain. As well as warp tongues at the start of your turn. Upper ran carny hand for the rest of combat. That's great. And then here I get, um, well, no curse, but fine. That's the cool headed, cold snap. Um, I have eight. Um, I can just play the stack. Yeah, let's save the boot sequence later and get rid of the rife in case I reshuffle. All right, 18 a white noise gives me the fragment, which is nice. Uh, should I? Yeah, I think I can do... Actually, can I hologram something? I could hologram the uh, boot sequence, right? Yeah, let's do bash, go for the ice hologram. Uh, how much am I doing in terms of block here? 9, 13. I already have 13, so I don't even need the boot sequence. Let's do another go for the ice. Lots of turns of weakness that way. Mm -hmm. All right, 15 incoming. Um, let's do... Streamline is 30 damage. Yeah, let's do streamline. And then just the apparition, one of them. Okay. I think if I draw another streamline, although, yeah, the enemy's not vulnerable. Anymore. Ooh, ritual dagger. Beautiful. All right. We got a colorless potion, which I don't think I'll 
Actually, let's take it over the Blessing of the Forge because it might give me something good. Ball Lightning, Auto Shield, Steam Barrier. Let's take a second Ball Lightning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of gold to lose. I'm still a little ways away from getting a shop. It is a decent relic. Who's my final boss here? Awaken one. Hmm. 155 gold for a relic? That's not too bad. Let's take it. We got Red Mask at the Savage Combat of one week to all enemies. Yeah, that's not... Actually, is this an uncommon... It's an event relic. Okay, so it doesn't say the rarity. All right. Nemesis. Actually, I thought... No, you can't get it in the shop, right? You have to get it through an event. All right, 12 incoming. Boot sequence is perfect here. I think I'll do streamline, boot sequence, strike, and get rid of the curses. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, aggregate is great. I can hope to draw... Ooh, echo form. Beautiful. Then do go for the ice strike and no... Well, actually, yeah, let's do this. That way That way, I gain some block with the... Uh, not the threat needle, the calipers for next turn. 45. Really was hoping for an apparition here and I got it. Actually, I don't think I can kill yet. Let's do apparitions, then defragment and... Um, is there a chance... You know what? I still haven't played my hologram, right? Yeah, yeah. So I can try to get back to the ritual dagger. Okay. All right. Uh, let's... More apparitions here, then chill... Cold Snap and Chaos. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Still intangible. Uh, there's the Hologram, but unfortunately I can't kill with the Ritual Dagger yet. So I think I'll double play the Apparition instead. Then do Ball Lightning, Cold Snap, and wait. Okay. There's a small chance I might reshuffle back to the um, Ritual Dagger. I will try it. Why not? White Nose gives me Machine Learning. That's good. Forces me to shuffle faster. Or to draw more things, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right, um, I don't want to double play the pain. Let's double play the defragment and then get rid of the pain. Okay, then do ball. No, not ball lightning. Let's just do bash here. All right. Okay, okay so I don't need to draw the ritual dagger this turn. Of course I did. Mm. That's a bummer. All right, fine. Um, actually, there's still a chance. I didn't use the hologram yet, right? Yeah, so there's still a chance of drawing the hologram. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Hmm. Give me a hologram, it didn't. Uh, double up on the aggregate. Do cool headed. Um, and then I don't want to do cold snap because I'm afraid I might kill by accident. Let's gain a bunch of block here instead. Okay. Actually, it looks like I'll, I'll kill next turn. Um, well, in two turns, I guess. Uh, let's do cool headed twice. All right. And then that's a lot of burns. And then, um, I don't know, I guess stack and wait. Okay. Right, if I get a. If I get a hologram next turn, that'll be ideal for this turn. Uh, yes, yes, beautiful. All right, hologram, the ritual dagger, and something I don't want. And then kill with the ritual dagger. All right. Okay, we got Nunchaku. Every time you play 10 attacks, gain extra energy, and Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. Double energy is not bad, but I think I'll take the stack for a potential collector bonus. We got the Reptomancer here. Um, 12 incoming. Half the apparition. Yeah, yeah, why not? I can use it. Let's do strike... I might consider throwing the fire potion. Let's do it to increase the chance of not being attacked next turn. And then um, get rid of the wraith. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, luckily the Reptomancer is not attacking. That's good. Um, I have the Aggro Doll. I don't think that'll save me here. Um, I do have 14 block, which is good. Let's kill the backline with the Ball Lightning. Then do go for the Ice and gain some extra block. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I think I'm guaranteed to be attacked. Okay, luckily I got the Apparition. Let's see what this gives me. First Storm, Apparition. Anything I need to hologram back? Not really. I guess... Eh, I don't think I need the Aggregate. Let's do Ball Lightning. And then I guess I can bring back a zero-cost attack card like Go for the Ice. Okay. This way this one will be weakened next turn as well. Okay. All right, 25. Yeah, there's another Apparition. Let's get rid of the Pain first. Um, play the Apparition or should I save it? I can't defend against 25, so yeah, let's definitely say, uh, play it. Cool-headed, chill, defragment, and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of incoming again. Uh, Ritual Dagger, I don't have Echo Form active, right? So I might have trouble defending here. Um, I don't think, well, let me see if the Colors Potion gives me something amazing. Secret Weapon, Jack of All Trades, or Purity. Nothing helps here. Let's see if Jack of All Trades gives me something amazing. Violence doesn't help me either, but let's play it. Mm, that's a bummer. I don't think there's anything I can do to defend. Uh, let's do. Let's get rid of the doubt, and then I think the best defense I have is to do. Um. Yeah, I guess cold snap. 
So 12, 15. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. All right. In that case, let's just do streamline here. All right. Yeah, there's no way I could have defended against the um, 26 incoming. I also have to be a little careful with my HP. I can't lose too much of it. Uh, yeah, I have to choose between Apparition and Echo Form. Luckily, the Echo Form is upgraded, so I don't lose it at least. Um, so let's do Chaos and then Cold Snap. The Plasma Opera is great. Mm -hmm. I didn't play... Wait, did I play the Ritual Dagger? I didn't, so I could take it back or get it back. Let's do Defragment, Cold Snap, and Zap. And then let's do Cool Headed to... Oh, I guess I have to lose the Apparition. I should have played the Defend because of Calipers. All right, so here I have almost enough lock. Let's do um, boot sequence. I don't think I'll do the zap. Yeah, because I do want to keep the plasma up for a little longer. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, let's do streamline you to kill, and I can do bash. Again, I don't think I'll do cold snap. Yeah, I would like to keep that plasma orb. Actually, hopefully I'll get the ritual dagger soon. Uh, thank you, game. All right. Not bad. Got Symbiotic Virus at, uh, start at, the, at the start of each combat, channel 1 Dark, as well as Kunai. Every time I play 3 attacks in a single turn, gain 1 Dexterity. Another Streamline would give me a Collector Bonus, right? Yeah, let's take it. Only non-Apparition Collector Bonus so far. Mm -hmm. Nemesis again. 12 incoming. Uh, yeah, Boot Sequence is enough. Uh, let's do that. Rift the Wraith, then Streamline. And uh, might as well do a Defend. Come. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked this turn is great. Let's get rid of the Pain. Then do aggregate, uh, cold snap, and stack. Mm -hmm. All right. And, okay, still not the big attack. That's good. I think I'll play the apparitions. Then do go for the ice. Um, and, yeah, let's do stack. Keep more block with the calipers. Yeah, I think I think taking the calipers was the right decision. All right. To play the, uh, yeah, why not? Ball lightning, chill, strike. I can just play everything here, right? Come. Okay. haven't played any of my powers yet. The two defragments and the echo form. 18. I am fully defended, but still no echo form. Let's do the fragment and streamline then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And still 18. Didn't get the big attack, and I still have two apparitions, which is great. Um, I need to play the survivor here. Let's do the fragment, survivor, and then... Yeah, I have enough block, right? So I don't need to play the cold snap. Now let's still do the cold snap. Yeah, I get an extra frost rope that, that way. Mm hmm and there's the big attack. And there's the apparition too. Good. But I can't play the echo form. Fine, fine. Not much I can do about that. Alright. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Another 18. Um, so I am fully defended. Let's play the streamline. I think I need to hologram. I should have no, actually I can't. Yeah, let's do chaos. I should I well, aggregate. It would have been too late to hologram the aggregate. I didn't have any cards in my draw pile. Another apparition, which I don't think I'll need. Yep. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt. And I'm unlikely to... Actually, I can kill with the ball lightning. Let's do that. Let's just perfect. Got data this start. You come with one focus. That's huge. A bottle tornado. Before I take that, let's first see if I get something good out of this. Let's take another hologram. I'm going pick up, choose a power crash. Starish come with this card in your hand. Should that be the echo form? Because that might be the... Oh, no. I have to reload. I can't bottle the tornado or bottle the echo form because then I can't remove it. There's actually a poem by Chef in a Cloud a while ago that uh, explains that really well. All right, let's do let's do hologram and then ball tornado the defragment. I guess yeah, that's the only other choice. I have to take a relic to get to 25 relics. That Sandal every three times to shuffle drop on again two extra energy, which is fine. And then yeah, let's do another question mark room. Okay, definitely want to fight for a relic. And then with the next elite, I think I should be able to get to 25 relics. So that's good. All right, let's do. Oh, this is actually this might not be an easy run. Let's get rid of the pain. Then Defragment, Boot Sequence, and I think I'll get rid of the right as well and do Survivor. Okay, so I'm not taking any damage here, but these scale, these enemies scale very quickly, and I don't have a lot of... I don't scale very quickly, at least. At least I have the Apparition, so that's good. Let's do Cool Headed, and then I can do a Strike here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Apparitions might be necessary to survive here. Yeah, look at that, 42. If I don't have any good block, I'm dead. Um, and I don't think I have good block. Let's do Ball Lightning... Defend and stack. That's the best I can do. And, okay, I'm still alive. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, okay, another apparition is great. Let's play that. Then do streamline and go for the ice. Okay. Really worried. Maybe getting rid of the dark orb would be nice. Okay, still got another apparition. That's good. Let's do chill, defragment, and then I have to play the apparition, right? No, no real choice in that. Mm-hmm. 
think I'm running out of apparitions. Look at how much incoming I have here. Uh, let's see what the chaos gives me. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything I can do. Look at that. Not even close. I have to reload this one. I'll put in a thumbnail. I don't think I actually stand a chance of perfecting this one, so I think I might have to skip this fight. Let me try one more time. Yeah, it's just this deck doesn't have enough scaling. That's the problem. I don't honestly don't even know what I can do differently here. Maybe I won't get rid of the right. Maybe saving that one HP does something. Hmm. All right, so I have to do apparition. Let me do cool headed first. Yeah, I have to do apparition. No, no question about that. I can't do anything else. Okay. Hmm. And then here I sort of have to. Actually, I don't have apparitions, right? I sort of have to do the defend and the stack. Maybe ball lightning first. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 38. Yeah, so here I have another apparition. Um, let's do the fragment. Go for the ice and cold snap. Okay. Did I have the same cards before? I'm not sure. I think this is the turn where I... No, no. This, I'm still good this turn. So let's do apparition. Maybe I should do... The yeah, actually, see, playing the stack would allow me to gain some extra block with the calipers next turn. That might that might be enough, actually. So 34, I need 55. No, no, that's still not... Actually, hang on. Defend Chaos. Okay, things went slightly differently here. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure what exactly I did. I think I might have played the um, stack at some point where I didn't last time. Let's do cool-headed. Ah, too bad I got the echo form there. Two cold snaps. Okay. I'm impressed. Yeah, I have plenty of block, and I'm still keeping block with the calipers. 31 incoming, and I can kill the Richard Dagger. All right, okay, so this one much better. We got Duvidol for each cursion next start. You come with one strength. I only have three right now. Rip and tear, ball lightning, a hol hologram. Let's take another hologram. I think that's number three. I have to do a shop here, right? If I do a question mark room, I'll lose popper. And it's unlikely I'll get enough curses. So let's do the shop. Remove. You spend all my gold to remove the echo form. And then, yeah, unable to afford anything else, which is fine. Really hope. I mean, there's a small chance I might get two curses, but it's it's very unlikely. All right, Reptomancer again. Let's get rid of... Actually, no, let's do the Fragment um, Boot Sequence. I have to play that. And then I can do Ball Lightning and Cold Snap. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, being attacked by quite a bit. Uh, let's do chill. That's actually really good. Let's do chill. Okay. And then I can do straight... Wait, 30. I have 14 plus 20, 34. Yeah. So if I kill if I kill this one, I'll be able to fully defend. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, I think I'll do... Hang on. Um, yeah, let's do ball lightning. Okay, 82. I don't think I can deal enough damage with the ritual dagger. So let's just do cold snap. And then Ritual Dagger, that gets me very close to being able to perfect this one. Come. Okay. Hmm. And then here I just need something like uh, Cold Snap to kill. Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. We got Eternal Feather for every five cards in deck. Heal three, three, whatever you enter. Rest side as well as Ice Cream Energy is now conserved between turns. That's huge. Another Boot Sequence or Tempest with Aggregate? Tempest might be interesting. Now let's take another Boot Sequence. That should allow me to be fully defended on turn one. And I got an Unknown Shop here. If I knew this, I would have gotten... I still don't think I'll take a Blizzard. I, I wouldn't have... Actually, I will take a, a Focus Potion. One of the three Focus Potions in that shop. Let's definitely do that. And here I got Turnip. You can no longer become Frail, which is fine. All right. Um, I don't think I'll rest here. Uh, instead, let's upgrade another Apparition. Or let's upgrade the initial defragment because i always have it on turn one and i might consider using it against the um awaken one if i have enough block actually i have two boot sequences right so i should be good yeah let's do the fragment then boot sequence one and um i have to play another actually yeah no i don't have any frost ropes yet yeah so i have to do another boot sequence okay actually i should have done the hologram wait oh i don't want to reload but yeah the hologram i forgot that it was upgraded so or it became upgraded thanks to the warp tongue, so I, I could have just played it without any penalties. All right, let's do go for the ice, the backliner. Uh, it's still a lot of incoming, and I don't have any frost drops, so there's not much I can do. Um, I think I'll do bash and streamline. Okay. So here I have 21 incoming. I am fully defended. Good. All right. I need some of my frost drops, please. Okay, luckily the backliner is still weakened. There's another fragment, which doesn't help me in this case. Um... Ritual Dagger does deal a lot of damage. I think I should definitely play that. Okay. And then... Um, what do I do here? So, I only have four. This is seven. It's not enough. 
I don't think there's anything I can do. Well, I can gain four block by playing two more attacks. Okay. So that's eight plus ten is eighteen. I am very close. But still, there's nothing I can do, right? And the enemy's already weakened, so there's not much I can do in that sense either. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do stack. That's 18. All right, I might as well do the fragment then. Okay. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right, 22. Since I can't perfect... Uh, of course, the apparitions show up so late. All right, let's do cold snap. Actually, I'll play the apparitions, then do cold snap, chaos. All right, and that way I have frost... Once I have my frost drops going, it just was a shame that it took me so long to get to them. I think at this point, I should try to get the overkill modifier because I have a dark orb and I haven't gotten that yet. All right, sorry about that. I uh, might have lost my light speed modifier there, although I'm not sure if I did. All right, let's do another apparition and defend here. Yeah, now that I have the frost robes, I think with calipers, I should be able to build up enough block. I might even... Oh, right, I don't have an echo form anymore. All right, never mind. Uh, let's do ball lightning. No, um, let's do cold snap to get another frost orb. And then I think I'll try to avoid playing more, more orbs. Let's instead maybe play a streamline to make that free. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's wait maybe two or three more turns to get the overcome modifier with the Dark Orb. Um, here, let's do Streamline Strike and a Defend. Why not? Okay. Maybe I'll even wait till after Transformation to kill or to deal a lot of damage with the Dark Orb, right? Let's do Streamline Apparition. Actually, yeah, the stack is pretty good. Let's do the stack. Okay. Yeah, so the Dark Orb already does more than 100 damage, but I think I'll try to kill and then use the Dark Orb. So let's do aggregate here, then streamline. I don't think I'll do chill, get rid of the doubt, and then do a defend. Okay. Because, yeah, the lightning orbs deal 20 damage each turn. Um, so play the bash. Uh, do survivor. And then, yeah, it might as well do the apparition. Why not? Okay. Okay, so I just need very little to kill next turn. Uh, yeah, let's do streamline. Okay. So now, and I might as well do stack, yeah. So now next turn, I'll be able to get overkill, and also that helps me get rid of the Awakened one fairly quickly. Let's do Streamline, White Noise, Echo Form, sure. And then, yeah, let's do Cool Headed. All right, yeah, that helps me a lot. Might as well play the Defend. Yeah, yeah, once I had my Frost Orbs going, it was very easy. It's just getting to that point. Unfortunately, it took me a little too long. Now let's do Streamline twice, go for the Ice Strike, and then play the Stacks. Mm -hmm. There's no way for me to get combo anymore, right? Yeah, I don't think there is. Unless White Noise gives me something amazing. Very unlikely. Yeah, let's just kill. All right. Unfortunate about not getting the... Um, not getting the uh, perfect there. We got 1262. That uh, could have been better. So out of the... What is that? 10 elites. I perfected 6. Uh, I only got the Act 2 boss. I definitely got very close to the Act 3 boss. And the Act 1 boss, I got unlucky. My deck wasn't that great yet. I got 20 crush mark rooms. That's not bad. But didn't get enough curses. I only had 3. And I only missed 1 crush mark room. So there's no way for me to get curses at all. Actually, a little uh, dis disappointing to get 20 question mark rooms and no curses. I did get I like shiny, and then pop art librarian and overkill towards the end. Yeah, definitely could imagine somebody getting at least 50 points more by perfecting the um, X3 boss. Uh, oh wow, okay, Vorpal got definitely more than just one extra perfect. Yeah, so I have 1262. If I had, oh, Steven has has 1281. That's an unusual amount of points more than me. But actually, actually, this might mean that Steven took more regular fights. No, other way around. Maybe we took an extra question mark room. A anyway, so if I had gotten another 50 points, I would have been 13, oh, uh, 13 12. That would have put me in uh, 37th place, two plays above Chrono. Okay. And then if I had somehow perfected the um, Act 1 boss as well, as well, that would have been 14 12. That would have put me in 22nd place. And the Vorpal got 1539. So that's another 125 points on top of me being able to perfect everything. So I do wonder if Vorpal's RNG was different. That actually, maybe if Vorpal took the tiny chest that changed the RNG and allowed him to maybe somehow get curses, definitely possible. But yeah, so Vorpal would have need to get curses and then also get another 25 points somewhere. Very impressive score. Let me know in the comments what you did. But let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was an ironclad run with the draft, a time dilation, deadly events modifier. So draft deck gave a lot of people a very offensive hand, but most people decided to go early on for a strength and self-damage build, which I didn't really lean into, and I sort of regretted it. So first you have uh, Chrono here with 1605. Chrono was able to pack 10 of the 11 elites, didn't get 12 as I think I and most others, others did. And I think that's because Chrono took a wrong path on Act 1 and uh, sort of missed uh, getting an extra elite from a question mark room. Was able to, to perfect all the bosses though, got 5 collector moons, which is not too bad. Um, and then yeah, as I mentioned, Chrono really leaned into the strength and self-damage deck. Didn't go for Popper and took uh, 4 offerings, bloodlettings, ruptures. Uh, also had limit break to scale even faster. Uh, and then also 
took a barricade, which together with the self-forming clay allowed him to gain a lot of block with all the self-damage. So yeah, that was a great, a pretty good strategy. Congratulations for a great score for Chrono. Then you have P-Gem here with 1563. Pelts got 1561. Pelts perfected most elites and all the bosses, got five collector bonuses, decided to go for Popper, had a similar run as I did, but you know, was able to perfect things. Um, and then also picked up the offering, but then removed it uh, later on. Um, didn't get uh, overkill or combo. Overkill, I think, was definitely doable, so Pelts got a little unlucky there. And then, yeah, Pelts mentioned that the offering, just like for me, wasn't that useful throughout. It ended up often being at the bottom of my deck. Then you have Vorpal and Panda tied at 1488. Vorpal didn't perfect a lot of elites, but perfected all the bosses and got six collector bonuses. Was able to get overkill by getting a lucky um, barricade through a power potion and was uh, dealing damage with the body slam. And then, yeah, also just like most others, went for a self-harm deck, um, but didn't have a lot, of, a lot of energy. So that was, I think, a big problem. Especially if you decide to go for Popper, you don't have um, the benefit from uh, offering. And then you have Steven here with 1436. Steven also leaned into the self-harm deck and also picked up Runic Cube. Uh, got four collector bonuses, which is not too bad. You have George with 420, making it top 100. Rado got 411. Is that tied? That is tied for 100th place, okay. And then Goldberry got 1398. Uh, Goldberry perfected five elites, got two bosses, missed the Act 3 boss, just didn't have enough block, which is unfortunate. Had six collector bonuses, Popper, and then also had a feed early on, which I think is interesting, but he was able to remove that feed to get the Popper modifier, and I assume he was also able to get some points from more max HP. You had Malzahn with 1388. Malzahn perfected six of the 12 elites, got all the bosses, um, only got two collector bonuses, which is unfortunately on the lower side. Had lots of copies of threes, uh, three other cards, but didn't wasn't able to get more collector bonuses. I had a lot of fun with self-damage. I think Malzahn is a big fan of the rupture. Um, took the Runic Cube as well, was able to get overkill with Heavy Blade, and then later on um, got another, I think, over 400 damage with a body slam against the giant head. Um, yeah, with the offerings, that was pretty easy to, to get. Um, and then he was also able to get combo fairly easily. Didn't get the I Like Shiny modifier. I think most people were able to get I Like Shiny. Uh, again, took the upgraded Enlightenment, which he said helped him quite a bit. Um, and then, yeah, Malzano is one of the people who one of the people who requested a silent run. So hopefully we'll get one of those soon. And then you have uh, me here with 1361. I perfected only four elites and missed the Act 3 boss by just having a bad draw. Just like today, I guess. Four collector bonuses. I did get I Like Shiny. No chance of getting curses. Um... And then, yeah, uh, Shadow actually pointed out that this was the perfect, yesterday was a perfect deck for self-damage, and I sort of didn't really lean into that. And then Aloy also asked the probability of getting elites in a deadly events modifier out of question mark rooms, and I think according to the wiki, it's 20% for each question mark room, and it increases by 20% whenever you don't get an elite. So I think in my mind, it's if, if you have three question mark rooms, there's more than a 50% chance, it's a 60% chance of getting an elite. Um, actually in each, right? Because it's 20% chance in the first one, then 40% in the second one if you don't get one, and then 60 in the third one if you don't get in the last two. So I think whenever you have three question mark rooms versus one guaranteed lead, I think it's better to go for the question mark room path, right? Especially if you have a lot of question mark rooms. Um, but yeah, so that's that's something I should really keep in mind next time when I do the calculation. And then Ginger got 1308, took a very similar path, but I assume didn't perfect as many things as I did, or maybe didn't get I like shiny. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did for today, and Congratulations to Warpulse for such a great score, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.